Hello again, RISD. Can you believe it? Can you feel it? It finally feels like fall with the cooler temperatures and the Thanksgiving break quickly approaching. This time of year highlights for me a feeling of gratitude. Gratitude for our school district family, including each of you, that makes us so very special. Thank you for choosing RISD and allowing us to love and grow your students. Every child, every day. I do want to take a moment and recognize many members of our school district family or RISD community that are hurting resulting from the loss of a loved one or because of conflict that is occurring in various parts of the world. Please know we are surrounding you all with our love and please let us know how we can support you, whether that is through our counselors or your campus leaders or by reaching out to me directly. We've got you always. We do have some great updates for you. First off this month, I want to tell you all about AVID, which stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination. At the November board meeting, RISD trustees received an update on the AVID system, which helps more than 13,000 students close the opportunity gap by preparing all students for college or a career upon graduation. That's about one third of all of the students in RISD who are in this dynamic system that gives students agency while providing them with opportunity, knowledge, and rigorous academic preparedness. Did you know that we have AVID in 20 of our elementary schools? We believe building this strong foundation is super important to establishing a college and or career trajectory for our students. AVID aligns with the district's North Star goal and the RISD graduate profile and sets our students up for a success in a global society. RHS and Berkner are AVID national demonstration schools, meaning educators from across the state and the country come right here to RISD to learn how it's done. One way RISD AVID shines is through helping students and parents complete the federal college financial aid application process, and they received more than $20 million in college scholarship offers. Wow! Thank you to all of our AVID teachers and administrators who are creating a culture of excellence for our AVID scholars. The annual Veterans Day Parade at Hamilton Park moved inside this year due to rain, but nothing could dampen the love in the room for those being honored for their service. Many campuses took time to honor our veterans. We have hundreds of veterans working in RISD and in our community, and we are humbled and appreciative of their service. Thank you. Arts and culture matter, and the RISD Fine Arts Department continues to expand opportunities for students in all four of our learning communities. In early November, we held the first of our annual Fine Arts Showcases in the Lake Highlands and Richardson learning communities. I was in awe of the talent of our directors and students alike. From reading monologues, to dance, to choir, to playing an instrument, our kids can just do it all, and they do it all so well. JJ Paris and BHS will host their showcases in the spring. Be sure to note these on your calendar. You won't want to miss them. We recently hosted the second annual RISD Family Engagement Conference at Lake Highlands, where hundreds of parents and guardians learned more about the wide variety of services and supports this school district provides. The RISD Family Engagement Team continues to create meaningful and tangible opportunities for parents to gain a better understanding of their child's growth goals. As a part of our Parent University programming at Title I Schools, the Family Engagement Team helps campuses facilitate parent growth goal camps. Often held in conjunction with parent-teacher conferences, these growth goal camps fill parents with information and resources to support their child's school learning at home. More of these parent growth goal camps will be held in January and February, so parents be on the lookout for communications from your campus. Another way RISD connects with every family is through our Innovative Refugee Services Program, which hosted its annual Fall Festival at Bergner earlier this month. This program helps hundreds of new families access the things they need to succeed. Families new not just to RISD, but to the country, relocated here from places like Afghanistan and the Ukraine. The Refugee Services Program is quickly gaining a reputation similar to that of AVID, where RISD hosts visiting school districts to see just how we do it. 
It fills me with immense pride knowing that RISD's efforts are the exemplar other school districts strive for. Now, I want to give a big congratulations to Pierce Volleyball coach Jennifer Nance for being named the District 7-6A Coach of the Year. I also want to celebrate our J.J. Pierce Cross Country Program, who recently had five student athletes selected at the elite level for the academic All-State. This is the most elite students on one cross country team in the entire state. Congratulations to these outstanding scholars and athletes. This season, the Richardson, Pierce, and Lake Highlands volleyball teams all qualified for the UIL state playoffs, with the Wildcats finishing up as area champions. Also, the RHS volleyball team once again had every varsity player earn academic all-district honors. Our coaches pour their heart and soul into their players, and it shows. Congratulations to our coaches and athletes on a job well done. And speaking of Wildcats, the Lake Highlands football team is by district champions after a thrilling 42-38 win over South Grand Prairie. The team, led by seniors Deontay Dean and Trip Holly, advances to the area round to take on Prosper High School on Friday, November 17th in the new stadium at Melissa High School. I hope you'll join me in supporting the Wildcats. I sure hope I can hand them another gold trophy again. Bergner also had an awesome season, and while they lost to a great Arlington Martin team, we are all so proud of their great season. One final note to say thanks to each of you who contacted our legislators to share your support for public education in Texas. And a big shout out to Sarah Barker and the entire RSD Council of PTAs for amplifying that message. It's been a busy year in Austin as the legislators work to consider funding for our schools. Don't forget that public schools in Texas still receive the same level of per pupil state money that we got in 2019 before the pandemic began. I'm so glad that so many of you are as passionate about public education as I am and answered the call to action. Collectively, we have sent a message to Austin that public schools matter and the state of Texas needs to fully fund the education of all students. As we all head into a well-earned Thanksgiving break for our students, teachers, and staff, I hope this edition of Keeping Tabs has you excited about the work we are doing to support all students, every child, every teacher, and every leader every day. I'm so thankful to be your superintendent and grateful for the opportunity to serve and support every one of you in this amazing school district community. Wishing you and yours a wonderful, safe, and restful holiday.